This is probably bad because things aren't working, but I have a feeling it's it's not the the re other than changing the configuration in the studio. I don't think that's the reason that I'm having these problems, but I want to say we are currently in a testing phase with this uh, new piece of hardware to see if we it's reliable enough to deploy and use in the studio and maybe take out to some places. But I did get some new gear. It is, um, and after, and I've been looking at this for a while. Either way, uh, listen, every weekend I have to take most of this stuff that sits in front of me in the studio here, and we'll go the over, most of this stuff that's in front of me, this board, uh, there was a big case that was on here that's, the, that's the, the physical switcher that comes with us, and I have to rerun all of the cords, audio, video, uh, this monitor over here uh, uh, every weekend to do an MMA pay-per-view or, or, you know, or, or a live event or a pro wrestling show or something like that. So it, it was getting a little much, right? So we're starting to kind of um, look at uh, uh, playing, you know, mixing that up a little bit, try, trying to trying to trying to make it so stuff stays in the studio. Or if there we're if we have two things we have to stream in a night because it is another thing, you know something that's happening a lot. Uh, we want to have the the stuff to be able to do those kinds of things, right? And kind of deploy things and teams and everything as far as Sidekick Media goes. So I found myself uh, looking at I was I was I could have gotten another thing, had to buy a case and and everything like that. But what I ended up going with is uh, the ATEM Mini is something that's been uh, rolling out here shortly before the pandemic, and this has been like the darling of uh, easy streaming kind of situation there. We got the Mini Pro, uh, ATEM Mini Pro, and the ATEM, the Blackmagic ATEM, that's what I've been using is like, but I have like a $2,000 production 4K model that we've been using, um, and, and it has all the SDI ports. This is, if you're on audio, this is an all-in-one switcher. We've been using a software program as a switcher. Uh, this has four HDMIs. We've talked about it on the show before. Um, you can uh, plug in. You, <laughs> the version I have, uh, I have a hard drive plugged in right now, and, uh, and, and it is uh, uh, currently recording at least the switcher feed, so it doesn't have the graphics and and the stuff that I'm showing in over over NDI like the over the shoulder cam and the, and the graphics from the from the computer right now or or anything like that and these things go up for these these things go up to look at this insane insanity that is the ATEM mini extreme look at those buttons there's eight inputs and a lot of stuff going on in there um, but it's got, it's got a lot of fun. And this is the idea. Like you can take it, throw it, throw it together with a laptop, have a four camera shoot ready to go. Like when we were doing, uh, you know, I was mentioning doing like some interview shoots, like we were used to do with public source. Um, you know, this, like, like taking that big thing was just so overkill. Right. And this seems like the right kind of thing. Um, the other thing is with the big units that I've been using, um, we are unable to, uh, everything has to match across the board. If I'm using eight inputs, everything needs to be set at, it, it, most of the cameras I have will max out at 1080i, right? Uh, in 60 frames a second. Uh, so when I go to like, you know, I was, I was frustrated when I was like, I want to put my iPad in this and the iPad is uh, six, you know, 1080p and everything like that. Uh, so, so like, you know, we would, you'd, I'd have to go buy it to scale, rescale your descaler upscaler whatever whichever one i had to get to um i guess a down descaler for this one and uh and reset it and everything like that so it it's 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 uh uh so so it's flexible for that unfortunately so ideally you're able to usb this into a computer and you could use it as a webcam source and uh, honestly we're having some issues with that tonight but i'm starting to think it might be a computer issue um because we're using a usb encoder in elgato actually right now and it seems to be slowing down on this computer so i might have another issue i did install a graphics card on this so which that shouldn't make much difference but I, I, that's the biggest change i made in the last 24 hours on this machine um, but anyways, so the cool thing from this also is that, um, you can, uh, go live directly from, if you saw, uh, you know, my personal Facebook last night, there was a no graphics live switch of last night's, uh, Monday mayhem. I was about to do one here before we were having whatever streaming issues were pro cropping up here. And, uh, so, so I could, uh, you know, you know, change, changing things up. We go through vMix, um, in the, in the studio situation right now, but, uh, you know, I could, I could take this thing, you know, plug it in. And, and go live on on at least one platform um, directly from just the unit itself. 
um, with you know this is it uses the same software, the ATEM software control that the the 4K model uses. So I already have the software on every computer. It just sees the unit and and loads the features, right? Like you know, including these extra, you know, I'm recording, you know, to the to the drive now, um, and, and I'm looking at the the HDMI. I'm recording on a Blackmagic recorder over here, and the feed looks great, you know, coming off of this. So I know that works. Um, again, getting it into this computer right now to uh, get vmix to work that's what i need to work on so it's super flexible if you're a twitch streamer that wants to do a little bit more and wants that flexibility it's got okay that was playing with this last it's got picture in picture that i haven't figured out on here it's got uh hold on a second hold on a second here you go there's some there's some transitions your, for you your your picture in picture is based off of input one okay and another input you wish that's how it is you have the right. item mini Bro, I have the I have the the normal. Yeah, the normal. Oh well, well here you go. I just I figured don't have it the out. Pro, there here, you go. I don't see. know. Wait, how do I change the secondary one though? I don't. Uh, oh wait, no, there we are. There no, we go. I, yeah, so I have to set the, the I have to set the first one, and then you set the second one, and now I can do picture in picture. There yeah, you go. But, it, but your in picture, I think, always has to be input one, right? Um. So I think from the looks of it, I turn it on. Hold on. There's an order to this, I think. <laughs> now I just transitioned. Now I can do the uh, the Star Wars wipe transitions, so that's kind of fun. Uh, so, um, but uh, yeah, from there. And if you load, if you load the software on your PC, you can yes. actually load your lower thirds and that, some of that stuff. Yeah, and I'm not entirely clear because it looks like it's using the uh, next transition background key on air kind of situation. Oh, there it is. There it is. There. Okay, that's what. And that then does. you can move it around. You have the buttons in the kind of center towards. Yeah, the top. I can. I can throw it like in either corner, like with this, and they're just buttons sitting here on the unit itself. The record and on air is on here, and actually, so here's the here's the limitation. This is why I you now now you can do a multiple like multi screen. Uh, so I can do this. And now this is the multi-screen you can do, and you see it replaced uh, on my other unit. It would fill that those those lower eight squares with all eight camera inputs. But you see that my audio that comes through the board, and we just have our sound board going in through the Black Magic, so it's it's synced up with cameras. Ooh, I don't know what that was. Uh, some so, something doesn't like a resolution over there. But you see the recording status. You see the status for the live and everything like that. Apparently, I lost the camera over there as well. But it, that's 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 one of the biggest limitations there and now i'm having issues with an hdmi so we're going to stop playing with that for a little bit um and i'm going to turn off the i'm going to turn off the transitions too um but again it, it's it's really nice kind of you know i this is this is interesting i i didn't see this connect to 5g and 4g phones for mobile data i do not recommend that uh for everything on air um and uh but uh, yeah it looks like we having some hdmi signal problems here too so that's fun uh i don't know if it's coming from the thing i think i got a bad hdmi oh i bumped it loose that's what i did so that's the other thing everything is right here uh, so i'm i'm having trouble um like like if you bump the hdmis and everything like that it's getting a little funky so so like that's been an issue so i need to kind of resort things a little bit so it's in the like, you know optimize this for the part right so, and yeah, I still have some issues uh, with this. So we'll work with that for a moment. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, so, so it's the ATAM Mini Pro that we're doing. We're working through it uh, and, and just seeing how it fits into kind of, I guess, the, way that, the ways that we've done things, you know, for, for, for a while here uh, and kind of uh, uh, seeing what we can do with that. So see if, see if it adds to the flexibility a little bit, right? So, so uh, check out. This is the $500 model. They started, I think, 300 and uh, go up to, I think, $1,200. Um, there are modes, there are versions of this that you can connect some hard drives and it'll do what's called ISO recording, which means all four or eight um, of the cameras that you have connected in will record independent recordings of each of those cameras. And, and if you use DaVinci Resolve, which is uh, uh, the editor that, that I think Blackmagic purchased um, from another company, um, you, it would spit out a DaVinci Resolve um, project so you could go in and edit your, like it would have all the switching, I think, in it. And you can go back, oh, man, I, I missed a shot on this wrestling, you know, uh, move or something like that. You can go back and just switch it. It's all there kind of thing. That's cool. That's really cool. So 
I might have to. Well, I, that, that, that's not with this one, but if on those bigger versions, it, it would it would be very tempting to download uh, DaVinci Resolve and try that <laughs> for for something the, the, like that. The, one of the cool things I like is you can plug in like you were like, obviously you're plugging in a bunch of cameras mm -hmm. plugged in. Um, streaming devices where like I can mirror cast wirelessly from a device. So mm -hmm. like I'll, mm -hmm. I'll mirror cast directly to it. I've plugged in iPhones and iPads and now which one do you stream have those directly from it? Um, I have the regular ATEM mini. Okay. So like the, the, yeah, the lower one. Yeah. And it's great just yep. for, and, and, and if you just want to spruce up your zoom calls, because this will plug in again. We weren't we weren't happy with it. And again, I, I think it's another issue. I wasn't happy with the, the performance so far, but I'm not with this. And this is an Elgato cam link that I'm using. Um, the other the other thing we, we had, I had to I had to ditch my Black Magic intensity that we've been using for the longest time. And maybe that's it. This is kind of a lower end um, device. Um, so so like but again, everything is great going into the recorder. This is something in software coming into the computer that's a problem. If I was doing this differently that I was going directly from the unit, I think this would be a clean feed. Um, absolutely. So um, so we're, we're kind of figuring that out. So um, I'm sure I'll, I'll be I'll be looking at that and, and like I said we're gonna be trying. I, I am I do not recommend this if if, if it doesn't have the flexibility for a lot of things we need to do that we've been doing for pay-per-views and live streams for like live multi-cam sporting cage ring events. Um, so I do not recommend this for that, uh, you know, depending on what you need to do. If you need to have a, a display of what all the shots look like at the same time as multiple monitors going to different places like a commentator and, and in-house in video and, and just a screen for backstage and stuff like that, do not get this. This is not for you. Uh, it, 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 it just absolutely is not. Um, but, uh, you know, and we're, we're hitting our head right now on, on what that looks like, um, you know, and, and what that looks like for doing these shows. Um, so, um, but you're, if you're doing a show like this and you just want this and don't have like crazy graphics you want to use and want to use vMix and stuff and bring in RTMP and NDI feeds like we do over on vMix, like this is great. This is perfect for doing youtube twitch facebook live stuff uh for sure so don't, don't it, i'll tell you i'll tell you even working with like ob like i use it with obs mm -hmm. <clears throat> and i use obs to do all my screens and scenes mm -hmm. and then just bring it as in it is it, it in as multiple sources so you can you can get fancy with it and just use it as a camera switcher absolutely 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 um, let's get, let's get rolling since we are on a uh, chill pumpkin time here. Uh, Katie, what's your awesome thing of the week? 